to meet my two friends at the football field. Would you like to join me? Let's go! Oh, what a nice day! The sky is bright blue above me. Oh, there seems to be a bit of a wind, however. Oh, it's blowing me along. Oh, here I go. Mystery Mouse, is that you? I'm afraid so. But I'm awfully sorry to bang into you like this. It's all right. I thought you were a leaf. No, it's me. But I did feel like a leaf when the wind just blew me right along. I'm glad it brought me to you, however. Are you cold? Would you like to come in my coat? Oh, thank you. I am a bit cold and that sounds very snug. Oh, look. There's a football team starting their practice. Will we watch a bit? Of course. That's one of the reasons we came here today. <coughs> Why does the coach have a whistle? Well, one of the reasons is that he can point out when someone has broken a rule in the game. Why is that important? What do you think would happen if there were no rules in football? Everyone would kick the ball and each other. Yes, you're right. So the rules are really there to help everyone have a good game of football together. Can't they just make up their own rules? Well, I suppose they could. But what do you think would happen if all the players on the football field made up their own rules? It would be a great mess. And what if the coach made up his own rules just for his team? They wouldn't be able to play any matches together. Exactly. Have you girls ever heard of something called the Ten Commandments? Yes, we learned about it at Sunday school. Good! According to the Bible, God gave those Ten Commandments to Moses, the leader of the nation of Israel. It was to help them know how to live together. Can you remember any of the Ten Commandments? Yes, you can't steal. Or lie, or kill anyone. Quite right. You girls know these rules very well. And these Ten Commandments were taught to pretty much everyone in Europe for hundreds of years. And that's how people started thinking like the Bible said. Soon everybody agreed that it was wrong to steal or kill or destroy things. So eventually, people used the ideas of the Ten Commandments to make laws for our countries. That's why it's still wrong to steal or kill or destroy things around us. Wow, I'm glad we have the Bible. Me too. Me three. The Bible says that God's laws are perfect and they're there to protect people. Just like rules in a football game protect the players. <coughs> so if we want a happy life and a happy world, we need to keep listening to God and doing things His way. Otherwise, we'll end up being like football teams who have their own rules but still try to play a match together. 
But what if I don't remember all of the rules? Well, not to worry. Jesus actually summed up all of the commandments a bit like this. Do to others what you would have them do to you. Oh, that makes sense. And it's easy to remember. I agree. Woo! It's still very windy. I wonder how I'll get home in this weather. We can take you, Mystery Mouse. Really? Thank you. Off we go then. Oh, here we are. What a lovely walk we had. It was very snug in your coat. Thank you for that again. You're welcome. But where will we meet you tomorrow? Hmm. Don't you remember we need to go to the concert tomorrow? And first we need to go shopping. I need a new pair of shoes. Sorry, Mystery Mouse, but we can't meet you tomorrow. Oh, but hang on. I need a pair of shoes myself. So why don't I meet you two at the shoe shop? I'm not sure they have your size. Really? Oh, well, perhaps I'd better ask them to order me a pair from somewhere else then. All right. Great. Well, I suppose that's a deal. See you there.